got number five done. This one is mainly a Ferris wheel, but it also has this moving wheel element at the bottom. I didn't actually come up with this. I saw this in a uh, an old ball machine. But I wanted to rebuild it because I haven't seen anybody use it since then. And I really didn't want it to be forgotten. So here it is. So it starts off with one of those clear tubes from Bigger Ball Tower. And it'll look cool from the very bottom. But let's just run it and see. And that wheel moves all the way up, it then comes back. And let's see, I didn't show this because it went too quick, but there's a track that goes underneath there. It goes all the way to the end of the, end of the machine. Let's see if we can get a better view from this angle. So it curves right through the middle and ends up at the very back view of the other side. I'll just run it from there so I can see it. So as you can see it just kind of runs all the way through. I didn't want a lot of paths ending at the very bottom right there because then none of the balls would have even been going around this track at all and I wouldn't want that. So I need to make lots of paths be up at the beginning here so that the balls are going all around it. Let's see, I'll run it again if I can. It's kind of hard to reach from here. And there it comes. And it goes all the way around. Then that resets and the wheel will spin for a while, which is good. It's just a standard Ferris wheel, nothing really new about it. I guess I'll just uh, get some views of all the little areas around it. It's funny because in Citadel I didn't use this three rail track at all, but I kind of like it using it again. When I built Citadel I didn't really like it, but I like using it in this one. I guess if you build it right and it isn't all wiggly like the really old stuff is, like on Death Trap, then I like it better. The uh, death trap is mainly made out of a bunch of cheap supports supporting that track. So I had about a month, four weeks to build this machine and this is all I got done. So pretty happy with the amount I got done considering that four weeks ago I had nothing built at all. So we still have three more paths to go after this. And as you might have seen back here, part of path six is already done. I guess I'll show that right quick. This is just one of these arms. And let's just try it. Looks like I have some work to do on it. <laughs> but right now it's hitting that guardrail back there. So I built that track after I put this in. So as you can see it goes all the way up there. I kind of want to see it go all the way through that track on the camera. There it is. And there it goes. So after this I have another semester of school, so that's about three months. And then I'll be able to build it. The next time I'll be building it's probably spring break, which is about a week. I'm hoping to get the rest of the paths done. Then, then I'll finish testing um, in summer and have it transported to the museum in May. So that's how things are looking right now. So thanks for viewing the videos so far. I don't really know if I'm even going to post these online or how many of them there's going to be, but if I do then clearly you're watching it. And so thanks for watching. And just getting some last views here before I leave for three months. When I post all these videos, I'll probably just have them all back to back and post them all like in June or something. Right now it's January. So yeah, that's about it. And 
suppose we'll begin path six in the springtime. All right, this is about a week after the last video was recorded. I actually ended up coming home over the weekend. So, so far in the past day or so, I've gotten this done. This is also from Citadel, which isn't really a surprise, I guess. It's the one with the four linked arms, and it's just about the same as the one on Citadel, except I changed a little bit of the ends of these arms. Because on the one in the instructions, it was kind of getting stuck at the very end, so I took the tan clips off and also added that part under there so that I can rest on the blue rod. It does it better up here. Where is it? Right there. So that prevents it from moving down too far and having it get stuck. So here's how the path separator leads into it. It has a little tiny track section. And it goes right down into the first one. And I also had to clear out a bunch of area right around there in the track because there are supports and stuff on it. I still have to work on this part. It keeps on moving over, but not a big deal. And this whole path isn't finished yet, but it's going to lead to that arm back there. If you can see it, it's right there. So let's test it out. Alright, and here's the exit track right here, just a three-reel track ending about there. And also show the crazy arm. Back here, the last time I showed this it kind of got stuck, so I changed that guardrail under there. It used to be a white rod tall, now it's just a green rod. So it just makes it past. Right there. Comes really close. But it doesn't hit it. So that element will co comes out about right there. It'll have a path going straight back to this through the middle. And right now it kind of raises up like that in order to come out, but I might change that and make it come straight out the back. To do that I'll just move this arm over and so it can just come straight out there and onto this part. That way I won't have to do any tracks or anything, so that's a better idea for that. So I guess I'll get that track started, which will go through here, and I'll be back.